when we return. The only man to risk his life and smile about it. Dodger Bill Bradley will be climbing the largest mountain in North America. We understand he leaves tomorrow for Alaska. Bill, am I correct? You're still smiling even though you're, you're taking on a task. If I'm not mistaken, nine people have died while trying to climb the summit in Alaska. That was just last year, Gare. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Let me hit. Nine people died last year? Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask it? You, you know me. I, I, I love good personality. Why the hell are you laughing? <laughs> well, you got to laugh at this stuff, Gare. Otherwise, you'd be crying. You wouldn't do it. Look at this guy. He is courageous. <laughs> He's a personality. His life is on the line. The next five minutes, he'll enjoy Kron safely. Next. All right, he is one of America's great challengers. We're talking about Dollar Bill Bradley. He'll be attempting to climb North America's highest peak, Mount McKinley in Alaska, 20,320 feet. Here's Bill training on the Matterhorn for his big climb. His motto is show up and suffer. Uh, now, Denali is near the Arctic Circle, boasts some of the most ferocious weather in the world. Last year, nine people died while attempting to, uh, to climb the summit. We asked you during the break, you know, the old tease to make people stick around, and, and you, were, you were chuckling about it. And, you know, at first I'd say, what? He's laughing about nine people dying. Go ahead, Bill. The nature of this sport is? Yeah, it's more... Is you, if you take it too serious, you're not going to do it. The guys who, this is all these climbers that I deal with and talk to, they all have a, you have to have a sense of humor about it or you're not going to do it, you yeah. know. You know, your, your thing is that, you know, you, you check to make sure that you're in control. People have made mistakes. Um, you know, fluke things happen that, you know, you're just booking aren't going to happen. Yeah. Now, you're not a guy on your own, as I like to say. You've got something to live for. You have three children, right? Yeah. Yeah. And three what children. do they think of dad risking his life? Well, <laughs> <laughs> there, there are three that are, you know, my, my children are grown and I do have life insurance. Oh, you do? All right. <laughs> and I made sure it was like one where they didn't have to thaw me out yeah. and throw me in bed and All say right. I died of natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, no, so, so you're not the least bit nervous, huh? I mean, I can just usually... I mean, I have my moments. <laughs> yeah. No, but that is terrific. No, hey. Here's when you're training on the Matterhorn. How'd you pick the Matterhorn? Uh, well, I had to take a course. I've done a lot of flat water ru running on, on, on snow, but this is where you got to be up. This is, is that you on your knees? Yeah, yeah, right, right. I, ha yeah. Okay. I, I had a 60-pound pack on my back, and my snowshoes were good for 200 pounds, so I was punching through yeah. here. And my guide who was training me, this is to go up Jeez. Denali. We got who's, hit with a who's seven. Who's shooting this, by the way? The Mike, look at this. Yeah. This guy, he was great. He, yeah. JB, man, he's okay. the man. Yeah. I look mean, I, I give him more credit than us because he yeah. pulled the camera out. Yeah. You, you know, <laughs> and there you are. Hey, Bill, I'm not being funny, but for most of us, go home and watch the Giants and Dodgers lay on the couch and, oh, my God, it's the Giants. They almost won. You know, that's enough excitement for us. <laughs> Why do you need this? I think, you know, one of the things I'm doing is I like showing people that what's possible. I mean, you know, I'm an average talented guy and I'm showing what's possible. And the odds of this aren't, you know, it's like 300 to 1 of me wow. dying if you do something stupid. Now we know? look at, at McKinley Peak here, you know, not to be overly dramatic, but for those nine people last year, also what's impossible, right? Uh, yeah, but you, what guys do is you try and figure out why they died and you make sure that you're not going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And most of it is unguided. So as soon as I found out most of the guys who die are unguided, I got a guide. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Plus but, I found out you can fall in these crevices and they hold you by this yeah. rope and you're way down in this hole. I said, I need a guide. Yeah. I need somebody on that rope. <laughs> what, 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 do you get anything financially out of this? Do you have a sponsor? Somebody says, hey, Bill, if you come back alive, We'll give you this. I think that's the direction we're working, but I'm 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 working with uh, Sports Pill here, and WBE's my you know my biggest sponsor. It's gonna be for laugh, but Jason in my ear tells me right now it the, appears that if you come back alive, you'll get on Kron. That's about it, right? No, the shower pill. This is just. Back? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, we were out there bumping chest, pumping me up for the event right here. Okay, to see you. <laughs> you probably got more than chest in for it, but that's another story. All right, hey, uh, past events. You know, th this is one of the deals. You swim, you bike, you do everything, right? That's I it. I mean, you, man. this isn't just your first run at. Uh, yeah, Ed history, huh? My my big so far, I've done a double bad water, 292 miles through Death Valley, mm -hmm. hit 135 Great. degrees with a Mount Whitney summit. Yeah. I've swam 17 miles in the English Channel, no wetsuit, no brakes, 12 hours. I've run 100 miles in Alaska, pulling a 40-pound sled, Jeez. and I biked across America mm -hmm. in 16 days. It's funny because this 
coincides with all this football injuries, right? You know, the uh, concussions that the players are suffering. I did three hours today on the radio about why would you have your son play football if, you know, unless he could be a professional or maybe even earn a scholarship just to limp around the rest of his life. You're not suggesting kids try and emulate what you do. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old were you? I mean, you're one of these guys. Hey, I'm, I have I'm, nothing to live for when I started this. <laughs> okay. okay. No, no. Hey, but, now I hang out with the gear, so I got to stay alive. Yeah, no, no. Am I your number one promoter? You're damn right, man. Yeah. Give me that right there. Well, and I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed to say there's no number two. I'm the only guy. But anyway. The, the deal is, were you, when you were a kid, did you like ride your bike without holding on to the handlebars? Yeah, you were I actually daredevil? was afraid of a lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I just sort of started working on my fears. I was afraid of swimming in deep, yeah. dark water. I go after all my fears. Heights, I've had a fear of heights. Yeah. Of course, I'm going up a mountain. But then your comfort zone expands and your confidence grows in all areas yeah. if you go out in one area. Here's a real personal, was it your ex-wife that made you crazy? Uh, I had two of them. Two of them. Did they <laughs> drive you to this? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I, Where you I, just say, oh my God. I, I think what I did was I needed a new, you know, I had the bankruptcy and the divorce. I needed yeah, to right. find a way to, uh, you know, f you know, feel good about myself, you know? Uh, all right, here's Bill again. What he's going to try and conquer, he's going to climb the highest peak in North America, Mount McKinley in Alaska. He's leaving about three weeks from now then, Bill? It will... I leave tomorrow. I know you leave tomorrow, but in about oh, three I weeks. I climb Saturday, and it's a three-week deal. Three You're week up there three oh. weeks camping and yeah. well you know I get a kick out of you Bill that's, that's why I need the sh yeah. and, shower pad hey, so if I this is the last time we shake hands we warned you okay <laughs> Gary you know I'm going out if I freeze in the disco pose right here the disco pose <laughs> Good.